What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. We're going to do a special player edition on uh, Gabriel Landeskog, the young wing for the uh, Colorado Avalanche. As many know, Landeskog went number two in the draft uh, behind Nugent Hopkins, and uh, he's turned in a pretty solid rookie year. Died eight points in 15 games. He's I, lo I love what he brings to the table. He's um, one of those kids that has a lot of intangibles, and uh, you know, he does it all away from the puck, and um, he just plays an all-around great, gritty game, and has some offense, too. He's a, he's a power forward. Which is weird for a Swede. Usually they're more the finesse type, as uh, we saw with the Sedin sisters. I mean, put it this way: if Marshawn were punching him in the head, unlike Danielle Sedin, he'd punch back. You know, and I like that. I like the toughness he brings. Um, captain the Kitchener Rangers last year at 17, which is very rare, and uh, yeah, especially even for a European to be captain of a Canadian junior team, it's uh, you know, pretty pretty unusual. And uh, the kids earned it. You know, um, played two years in Kitchener. Uh, his first year, oh, he played two years, three years ago, um, for, uh, Dugard, Der Gardens in, uh, Sweet in Stockholm, the Special League League. Played three games, uh, in the Elite League against men at, like I said, 16. That's pretty astonishing that, uh, he can do that. And then, uh, came over, played for Kitchener in, uh, 2009-2010. 46 points in, uh, 61 games and 51 pims. And last year at, um, 66 points in, uh, 53 games. Um, which is a somewhat modest output by junior standards, but, um, it's, like I said, he plays a very good two-way game. Um, to a certain degree, like Mike Richards, a former Kitchener Ranger um, himself, Richards, and uh, you know he's just very uh, refined, professional game. Um, kind of like his teammate Ryan O'Reilly. I think he'll be better in the pros than he was in juniors because his game is suited for the NHL level. He's um, a very responsible defensive player. Uh, he blocks shots, kills penalties, and uh, you know, I can put him anywhere in the lineup. Uh, long term, I think he rides shotgun with um, Stastny or Duchesne. But uh, right now he's playing very well in the third line with O'Reilly. And uh, he's very good in that role. And like I said, he's got 8 points in 15 games. I think about 40 points this year, which is excellent for a, a rookie. I mean, not everyone's going to be a Crosby or an Ovechkin to come in and light it up. I mean, 8 points, I mean, excuse me, 8 points, 15 games, pre, you know, if he ends up with 40, 45 points, that's what you want. You know, he's going to be a supporting role player this year. And an upstart Avalanche team that, though, you know, got off to a very hot start, hit, hit the struggles late, but that's not, you know, the growing pains with a team like this. There's going to be streaks. And um, their talent level is too good for them to not be a top 10 team in the West and very likely sw uh, sneak into that 8th spot as a playoff team. And, um, you know, they really can't afford to tank it because they traded their first round pick to get Varlarmov. So, you know, see how it all turns out. But I'm very happy with what I see from this young man um, in Colorado. Um, we're in 92. And we actually had another discussion pretty good last night about you got to be good to wear a high number, to be honest with you. You know, you can't be, you know, an absolute stick like Grabowski. Isn't that great? But he wears 84. You know, and uh, another team, but uh, Colorado's 11th in the West, uh, 15 points through uh, 15 games. So that you know they got to step it up, and uh, I th I really believe they will, and I think they'll um you know be a th I'm not gonna say be they're not the team they were back in the day of you know Fapa, Sackick, and all those guys, but um you know they can be a very good team. They got a great long-term future. Um, they got a great young goalie in Varlamov, Duchesne, and um. Stassen, you know, Riley up front, and uh, guy like Landis Cog on the wings. You, you really can't ask for too much more than that. Um, hopefully, for the Colorado sake, Eric Johnson turns into something. Otherwise, they will really regret trading Shaddy and uh, and Stewart, who are doing very well in St. Louis. But back to Landis Cog. I personally think he can. He's on par with the Chris Stewart in long term. Um, that he's gonna muck around and take defensemen on the net. You know. Um, play a very good game down low, and that's how you create a lot of scoring chances. And uh, oh, you open up space to those big guys that can play, you know, in the corners behind the net, in front of the net. Um, you know, they give guys like Duchesne and O'Reilly and Stassi, the skilled uh, centers and other wingers, plenty of room to operate. And I don't know how good of a fighter he is. Uh, he had a few fights last year. But if he can fight, too, you know, teams aren't going to screw with Duchesne and, you know, O'Reilly, all those guys with him out there, you know, kind of like... When Luigi Chivers come up and he rode, he rode shotgun with uh, Savvy and Glenn Murray, you know, um, no one fucked with him, you know, because he, we, you know, he might push Savvy around, but you're not gonna fuck with that kid, you know. Luigi's kind of, Luigi's reformed, his, has refined his game into a, a fine-tuned um, 30 goal scorer. I like to see him start showing the intensity he showed when he was a rookie. Um, you know, like I said, power forwards take a little long to develop. And that's why, you know, I, I think Landis Cog will be a great, he'll be a lock for 60. 60, 70 points every year, and that's awesome, you know, for uh, what he brings to the table. 
he's gonna block shots, kill penalties, and uh, I think long term he's captain material. I really do. Um, you don't just throw that. I think that label's thrown around a little too much. Um, you look at usually if you're a captain of a team, you're the best player. Uh, look at the Capitals and Ovechkin, but uh, you know, I really think he can. He brings all the tangibles you need, you know, and the intangibles, leadership, stuff like that. So that's it for the player profile on Gabriel Landeskog. Thanks for uh, stopping by, and uh, we'll keep these coming.